250 million and throw it yeah, out. Yeah, but Dean is right about the leadership. Can you can't teach no. anyone? And being a good pro, Dean's played with enough. Damien's played with enough. And I think what you need is a Mourinho there. Mm. I mean, if you could, can we clone Mourinho and put him sitting down beside? He's got his own issues. I don't yeah. think you, you can make the leader. I think you can grow into positions and situations, and we shouldn't expect Stones, who's only there for five minutes, to you know lead that team now and, and, and tell others what to do. He may not be the type of personal character, but you, what he can teach them after eight months is that Monaco had a height advantage. City at their corners never really threatened because every ball was headed out with ease by Monaco. They had a height advantage. You can tell him, and this is where the manager comes into play, after eight months, I expect him to say, middle of the goal, yeah. we have to occupy, not by one, by two players. And then you've got yeah. to get the front people further Sometimes back it's the and goal. the ones from yeah. the back further, further towards. So you've got yeah. to, so it's not as easy for them to get through and you can't have a four-yard gap in the middle Sometimes of the goal. Sometimes it's a goalkeeper like Schmeichel. Will do that stuff. Mm. I'm sorry, you're gonna... No, I'm just saying. You know, uh, okay, he's he's the head coach and the massive yeah. reputation, all the things he's won and all that stuff. If Eamon he has, and I, I know you've graved out, we, we've articulated them here about his ability to organise a team defensively, mm. no matter who they are. Yeah. And going back to Barcelona, Munich, and these guys, if he has a, a blind spot about how to organise a defence, yeah. could he bring in? Add John Terry, for example, and say, right, you organize, like a defensive coordinator in American football, yes. to bring in somebody to say, right, this is your area. I can't do this, but you can. Well, Would he do that? No, no, because if he can't do that, he's not a bloody coach. Never mind the 15 million a year. He's on 15 million standing yeah. a year. What he needs to do is, you know, he, he can buy a player who would be very influential, a couple of players who would be a good influence on the team, yeah. on the gym, in the training ground, uh, uh, and in the dressing room. But uh, what's troubling and worrying about him is he's been there since last June, and he'd have seen them all last season because he knew he was going there. So he knows the yeah. things we're talking about. Now, we identified them up there at the Telestrator before the match. Don't you think he might have had a, a thought and said, yeah. hmm, and he should have been doing that work. That, what he's doing there is Dundalk, who did so magnificent, right, uh, for the League of Ireland, for themselves, mm -hmm. in Europe, winning the double here and there, and, or winning the league, rather, and losing the cup final. They wouldn't give a goal like that away. No way. Mm -hmm. Newcastle, under Rafa, no way. And is it a blind spot? Or is he just... Or just a weakness, right? whatever phrase or description no. you want to be able to put on it. An inability to I do think, it. I think it's a valid point, Dara. I think it's a very valid point you're making. I think a great manager is or a, a great leader of organisations, of football teams, of whatever team it may be, has got to address the capabilities, the strength he's got, and the weaknesses he's got, he's got to address and maybe bring somebody else uh, in. So... I wouldn't be totally against it to bring somebody but in. But now goalkeeper and coaches, don't they? But when, he, yeah, but when you said well, you it... You went mad into it a minute ago. But the first, so but the first, your first example that <laughs> sprang to my mind when you said, when you talked about a, a, maybe a defensive coach or somebody to organise a back four, straight to my mind came Arsenal. Who's the assistant manager of Arsenal? Steve Bolt. Steve Bolt, yeah. Probably one of the best headers of the ball, one of the, you know, an organiser, leader at the back. You know, look at the issue safe, but so... Only by bringing someone in, it doesn't mean it's going to get better. You know, the players still have to got the will to learn. And at the moment, um, I, you know, the, the, the problem is, I'm not saying they don't want to learn, but they're just not helping each other. And I'm not sure whether there might be issues within the team, because if somebody makes a mistake, surely if, if Kolarov jumps underneath the ball, I expect somebody to challenge Bakayoko and stop him from heading that ball. But whenever they do mistakes at the moment, there's nobody else digging them out. The keeper made a great save in the first half. I think that improved since mm. uh, the keeper's been changed. But at the back, they make too many mistakes. And when they do make mistakes, there's nobody else there to help them and uh, resolve that, uh, the problem. I mean, he's got to buy again. There's another transfer window coming yeah. up in the summer. And we'll be interested to see who he buys uh, and how that project... Yeah, but you can't, you can't just keep buying players, Aiden. You know, no, they, no. They, they've been bought. But he, didn't buy, he, he only bought stones. Yeah, yeah, but they're too old. Of course they need yeah, players. Yeah, he's bought his yeah. Jesus but I think, and Grundigan. But I think yeah, what, the two Grundigan. Rangers, yeah. Yeah, well, he's yeah. got to make better what he's got. You know, you can't yeah. say because otherwise, you know, if, if, if it's only about buying, you know, Worcester yeah. can go in and say, give us 300 million. If we buy six players, if it works, it works. If, if not, then, you know, we yeah. move on. You know, you've got yeah. to make better. You've got to improve what you've got. 
because they've, they've been buying players for the last 10 years and in Champions League standards they might be a little bit closer but they're still a million miles away from winning it if you look at the Barcelona if you look at Madrid if you look at Bayern Munich are they any closer than 10 years? I'm not too Let's sure go back to John Stones at Everton he stood out as a young player David Moyes paid Barnsley 3 million it was a great buy he went to Everton and he immediately stood out because he could do stuff on the ball uh, but at the end of Everton the, the fans were getting on, on it because he kept making mistakes over playing the ball yeah. giving it away around his own uh, penalty area not getting into position so it's a well known now Pep Guardiola has had 8 months to work with that lad there's no sign at all that he's any better that's why they're not going into the draw yeah. for the Champions League quarterfinals on Friday which yeah. they should do which they should do and he should be able to do that. That's kind of par for them, really, isn't it? With what, yeah. Yeah, but after, after your point about American yeah. football and quarterback co defense coaches, that American football is multitudes of people. Here you've only got a squad of 14, 15 players, mm. and but you can still get somebody in to help them defend better. Well, yeah. I know you say it should be it should be Guardiola doing that, but well, it's uh, certainly in the case of Mourinho and Didi's played for some great coaches, mm. uh, Rafa Benitez. Among them, I don't know. Rafa would have that sort of level, yeah, wouldn't he? Yeah. Okay, guys, let's have a look at as, 